Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The graph below shows the variation with time of the magnetic flux through a coil. So this is basically a flux and the time here is on the x-axis, which is T. Which of the following gives three times for which the magnitude of the induced EMF is maximum? So you want this magnetic field to be, sorry, the induced EMF to be maximum. So by applying the Faraday's law, I know that E will be given by negative of d phi by dt again i'm going into calculus but this is how you actually write it but you can write in whatever manner you prefer so the negative sign only shows the lens law that the induced current will be such that it will be opposing the change that is bringing the induced current in the first place but we are not concerned with that because we are only concerned with the magnitude here so we can skip negative sign also now clearly clearly this phi is shown as a variation of sine omega t it's clear because this is a sinusoidal variation so i'm going to tell you a couple of methods here like i will tell you two methods but the first method is this so phi is directly proportional to sine and we know that when we differentiate it we actually get cos definitely there is a negative sign there and there is a there there will be omega multiplied in the amplitude we don't care about those things the only thing is that that will be a cos variation so cost variation will somewhat look like this like this clearly when is the cost maximum it is at zero at t by two and then at t so taking these these options here so b seems to be the correct option because it is zero t by two and t so clearly b will be the right option so this is the first method that I'm telling you, like, okay, this is, first of all, this is the sinusoidal variation. You differentiate it, you convert it into costs, and then you can see when is the cost maximum. Accordingly, you have said that, okay, this will be the time when um, the voltage, uh, the uh, induced voltage will be maximum. So this is the one thing. Now, there is another thing, another way of thinking it. Now, what is the other way? The other way is that clearly E is d phi by dt. So you can say that, yes, this pertains to the slope of phi t curve. This is the phi t curve, the flux time curve, and we need to find the slope. So you have to see where the slope is maximum, the induced EMF will be maximum. Clearly, here the slope is zero, it becomes maximum only at zero. And then here it is maximum. Yes, it is in the negative sense, but negative, we do not care about that because we are only concerned with the magnitudes. And the other thing is this. So we can also see only and only slopes if we do not actually want to go into the calculus part of this question. So even then, the answer will be 0, t by 2, and t. So these are the two methods in which we can do this question. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Thanks for watching. Please share the YouTube channel with all your friends. All the best.